Hey everyone, Adam here. So I just wanted to quickly show you what I've been up to and uh, explain a, a project that has probably taken about a week and a half, maybe two weeks. But uh, essentially, uh, I have been cleaning up my desk area and trying to simplify my computer life. So you can ignore this computer over here. Uh, this computer is strictly work. Uh, it's something I need, has nothing to do really with this video. Instead, I want to focus on these two computers here. I have my laptop and I have my desktop. Now, what I have decided to do is I have decided to, uh, instead of, like, I had this really, really complicated setup. I had multiple laptops, which uh, you can see over here. Uh, I had these two laptops. Um, I had a number of laptops, uh, I had my desktop, I was dual booting. I mean, when you counted up everything with the operating systems, I probably was, uh, I probably was supporting like six, six operating systems. And it was just, it was just crazy. It was just way too hard to maintain. So in an effort to clean that up, I have decided to go with my desktop, my laptop, both win running Windows 10. So I am essentially sort of giving up Linux. I also notice that I've cleaned up all my wires. I've kind of hidden them. I've tucked them. I've kept them nice and neat. And uh, I want to keep this workspace, this work area, very, very clean. And it feels, uh, as of right now, just fantastic having a nice, clean, sharp working environment. So technology-wise, essentially what I'm left with is my phone, my laptop, and my desktop. And I will hold on to my Linux laptop, uh, as I kind of hinted to. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do with it yet, but um, I'm not going to make it... It's going to be if I have time and to keep this, this Linux hobby alive. Um, I have some ideas with it. Uh, we'll see what happens. I'm going to keep it around for the next year. If I don't use it within the next year, then at that point I'll reassess and maybe donate it. This other laptop has been... Uh, this this one will just be donated. I, I do not need another laptop. Plus, it was very, very cheap, and it just doesn't meet my need. Now, if I was looking to really rein in and simplify my life, I'd probably pick my phone, and I would probably pick my desktop, right? Um, I probably don't need this laptop. Admittedly, this laptop is a luxury. Uh, it's a luxury that I am willing to have uh, by... I guess complicating my life slightly, um, but again, I'm trying to set things up to not complicate it, which uh, if people are interested, um, there are ways uh, with technology that you can really kind of streamline a lot of things um, that I'm very, very interested in doing. So again, it is one more thing to maintain, but it's a luxury that uh, I personally want in my life. And, and again, uh, simplifying your life is all about choosing methodically the things that you want that add value to your life. So. Uh, the desktop I keep around, uh, especially for video editing, it's great, and for gaming with my buddies. Those are the two main things. And I definitely gaming, I need the power of my desktop in order to, to, to do that. Laptop, on the other hand, um, that is great for being mobile. Uh, it's great for work if I need to quickly uh, connect into uh, to my working environment. Uh, uh, for the company I work for, and and quickly do some some things like if I'm outside of my uh, home network, like on a weekend or you know just something very very quick, I have access, uh, which I like having that that ability uh, if need be. And the other thing is it is great for around the house. It makes me super super mobile. So. You know, between late night, I want to do some quick computer work. Uh, I'll go out on our patio. Uh, our son will be playing in, in the back, um, and I will be able to uh, essentially uh, uh, keep an eye on him and, and do some computer work, So, which I would not be able to do with the desktop. So yes, it's a luxury, but uh, it's a luxury that, that, that I'm willing to, that, that I want in my life. So as I said, I am basically moving to one centralized operating system. And, uh, and I'm really, really cleaning up my digital life as well. So if people are interested in seeing a video on that, uh, I would be happy to, to show some tips and tricks in the future on cleaning up your digital life. Uh, I think at this age, it's, it's more important. It's, it's super important to be able to have a nice, clean digital life as well. So uh, I'm very, very keen on, on trying to also simplify my digital life as well. So admittedly, this feels great decluttering and just having a nice clean working environment just feels awesome. Uh, I recommend it to anyone looking to simplify your life. So this brings me to a couple of, of major points uh, of this video. One, 
it's going to take time. Start small. Don't stress out about it. This current project took me two weeks just to like clean up my entire desk area. I mean, it was a disaster. Uh, it took me another week to think about my file structure, how I wanted to, what I wanted to do with my operating systems, how I wanted to structure everything. Um, and I'm still not done cleaning up my digital life. Uh, I'm maybe like 25% of the way there. I still have a tremendous amount of work to do on cleaning up my digital life. So the entire project is going to probably take about eight weeks. But, but that's okay. Start small. Don't stress out about it. Just make small little goals every day. Uh, and then eventually you start seeing the rewards from it. And then it kind of motivates you to keep going with the project, or at least that's what has happened with me. So uh, again, um, you know, take your time with it and uh, uh, it'll definitely feel good and it's definitely worth the time investment. Now, the biggest tip I can give you and the biggest take home message of this video is pick a space. If you're looking to simplify your life, Again, you don't have to do your entire house. Start small. But but if you want the biggest bang for your buck, pick a space that you are in most of the time. So for example, at my desk, I'm probably there eight to 10 hours. Uh, just cleaning up this area alone has huge, huge implications and huge, huge benefits because this is where, admittedly, I spend most of my time. So my advice to you, if you are looking for an area to simplify or to declutter, pick an area that you spend most of your time in because that's going to feel the most rewarding. Then from there, branch out to other areas if you so choose. But again, the main point is pick an area that you spend most of your time in and really work on decluttering that first. Uh, that will really uh, uh, help you in simplifying your life and it'll also be the, the biggest bang for your buck. All right, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Next week, as I probably talked about, maybe we'll talk about uh, letting go uh, and how your priorities shift a little bit and I'll use the example of my operating system which may be a little bit nerdy for some people but hopefully we'll get the point across and we can talk about that a little bit anyway for now hopefully you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching